guys. Got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people. You go, they have this tab right here, recruiting. You click on this, you can look around. There's some ads here looking for members, looking for groups, but then it gets really crazy. You click on the search, you go ahead in here and you say, oh, this just looks like a regular search. But bam, you pick Marvel Strike Force, come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values. So imagine, imagine being able to find somebody say, man, I just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power. And you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ, got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. Oh no. How could this happen? Combs, are you okay? Combs! Combs! No, I think, he, I think he's dying. Ah, that was a good one, wasn't it? It was. It was a, it was a mighty good one there, buds. A mighty good, a mighty good jest for you there, buds. Here we are. We're starting this video here, Marvel Strike Force. Ha 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 ha. Are you guys with accents are going to hate on me now for doing that? I don't know what's up with me and accents recently. They're just funny. So, today, we got a list. A good old list. I'm interested to hear your guys' opinions on it. Make sure to blow up those comments because I got to know. This is going to be a top 10 which means we can't spend too much time on each thing. But top 10, uh, like, best, like, standalone characters, like characters that can fit into any team and do amazing things. So top 10 of that. And so you could probably guess the first couple, but I'm interested to see what you think about beyond that. So we're going to go in, dude. We're going in. You ready? Yeah. We're going in, boys. Going in. Ah. Number one, the best character in the game. Wow, is anybody really surprised it's Ultron? Ah! We're going to move on because everybody knows this. Is our girl in blue the best healer in the game? You guys already know this too, right? Easy peasy. Uh, Minerva, obviously amazing. Uh, just like Ultron, amazing. There's really no need for explanation. Does the best healing. Heals on, you know, on deaths and gives regens and revives and everything. We already know this, right? So, like, I don't even need to spend any time on this. But so Ultron, Minerva, easily one and two they could honestly be tied at one because ultron's the best damage dealing character minerva's the best healing character and uh i don't know ultron just takes the cake a little bit because with his minions he can heal himself and sustain minerva cannot out damage anybody captain marvel kind of like falls under the same like tier and level as ultron or for the same reasons because she deals big damage and can heal herself uh she's good got dispels got big damage got just healing out the out the wazoo and uh, so, yeah, so like Captain Marvel, obviously just another really good character. These are all characters. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this. You're probably just like, Combs, this is the dumbest list ever. It's not. Just wait till we get out of the top five. I can't help it that the top five are who the top five are. They're just the best characters. All right, Phoenix, duh. We already know this. Again, Phoenix is amazing. Uh, so, just so good. I mean, the problem with her is that she doesn't have a lot of sustain, but she can fit in any team and make them better. So that's kind of what's really good about her. Um, she doesn't like she doesn't fit up into the top three just because she has no sustain. Like she needs the rest of the X-Men team to kind of stay alive a little bit more because Colossus taunts and that keeps her alive. Uh, without that, I mean, she's obviously a little squishy because she's meant to be. But then when she goes into her Dark Phoenix form, uh, you know, she's not squishy, but she also is not like super tanky and can't heal. So. Oh, she does heal, I guess, in Dark Phoenix form, but it's not very significant, in my opinion, unless you're fighting a ton of people. So maybe in, like, Fear the Darkness, it would be decently significant, but not in regular modes. But 
she's again amazing obviously gear 13 apparently i have all these characters at gear 13 so i'm not a whale chat you're not even chat you're just youtube don't yell at me about being a whale stop i just love this dude he can fit in any team does amazing things big damage uh gives energy blinds i mean shoot what's not to love about the hip thrusting lord or himself <laughs> what if that was his name hip thrusting lord hip lord oh, oh. oh that was weird anyways we're just dancing um yeah i mean it's pff, top five he belongs there he's amazing uh you compare him with uh rocket and that makes him even more amazing uh but he doesn't have to be and he's still great he can be on teams without anybody else and is stellar that's what so far is really amazing about these top five is that they can all be by themselves and still just be incredible so this is going to be where the list is kind of going to go off a little bit. It's going to be a little different. You might be like, what the heck is this? Like, it's going to be a little different. So again, I'm looking forward to your opinions down in the comments. All right, dude, number six. What? Just, what? This guy, what? 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 Yeah, dude, Graviton is really, really good in my opinion. He does lots of damage. I mean, he needs to be on a, he, he's better on a debuff team, but I think he kind of functions well no matter what. Um, he does good damage based on negative side effects. He extends negative side effects, which are super cool. So, I mean, he extends the negative side effects with this, with his, uh, this thing here, his passive. Yeah, so when they drop below 50% health, it just increases them. Also, he's already stacking stuff on their slows and whatnot. You get two slows on that ability. This just, that can stun. This just does more damage. I mean, if you have a team that has any amount of debuffs, he works amazing in it. And so, I don't know, maybe six is not the right spot for him, but I just think he's amazing. I've been having so much fun with him. And so I just, I definitely fit him up in there on the list. Uh, he belongs there, in my opinion. He's really good. I don't know if he can be used with any team. That's something I'm trying to test out and see because I think that he could fit into an arena team somewhere, but I'm not quite sure yet because I haven't really done a whole lot with it. But Graviton's awesome. I think he's great. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using him, testing him, playing with him even more. Now, Magneto, amazing, right? Super good. You got to use him in arena right now to take out Ultron pretty easily. And uh, yeah, he's super good. You already, of course, know about Magneto. You know what's good about him. You know why he's awesome. You know just what he does with all the blinds and everything else. It's kind of like a twofer though with him because like you really need Juggernaut to be with him to keep him alive. They get uh, just good bonuses off of each other. They work well together. And so it's, it's not really Juggernaut doesn't make this list, but Juggernaut with Magneto makes this list, if that makes sense. So like the problem, I just use one slot for them. So Magneto and Juggernaut for space number seven because like they just they need to be together but when they're together they just are stellar i personally like magneto and juggernaut better than i like phoenix and colossus a lot of people don't agree with that and obviously if you want different teams you want x-men and brotherhood but for like arena and stuff i like them better together than i like phoenix with colossus a lot of people disagree with me on that i don't care um that's what i like now, maybe to you, this one's another quick surprise. You're like, whoa, 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 where, where, where does this dude come from? Dude, Rhino is incredible. Especially right now, you can use him in Arena. He can replace Phoenix in Arena, and that's like super lit. Uh, it's really, really good as far as that goes because you can replace a pretty hard to get legendary character with this dude who's just easily obtainable from the Blitz store. So, I mean, I like him a lot. I was using him when he was weaker, like 25, 28,000 power. And he was epic. You could use him in arena against like 300,000 power teams and he just did everything that you need him to do. Gets rid of the blinds, can taunt, and does some decent damage. I mean, he's a good dude, strong dude. If you haven't tried him in arena, maybe if you don't have Phoenix, put him in. You can copy uh, the regular team of uh, Ultron, Vision, Juggernaut, Magneto, and instead of Phoenix, put in Rhino. And uh, he does the job. It's pretty exciting. I like Rhino a lot. And I'm hoping that there will eventually be a Spider-Verse Legendary that kind of sorts all of it out, like Doc Ock or something. Seems like that should be happening anytime now. And then we have our boy, old, old boy, uh, Nick Fury, tried and true, stalwart commander. He is not as good as he used to be as an individual character. He just, uh, I don't know. He's not as like useful as he used to be because of just other really strong characters, but he's still really good on his own because he just can fit in any team. Similar to these other characters that we're talking about here is um, they can just fit into any team and just be awesome. They can just do the job and they don't really need other pieces around them. Now, of course, the Magneto Juggernaut, which is kind of an Easter egg sort of thing. Everybody is just like, they're good as individuals. That's the whole thing with this list is top 10 best individual characters. They can stand on their own. So Nick Fury definitely stands on his own with the summons and the just the spreading of buffs. I mean, that's incredible, right? Like 
you can really change the game with both of those things on any team. So that was why he makes a list. Uh, I thought about leaving him off, but I really wanted to put him on. So also 69. Now, I don't know if you guys have him built up. I've kind of found out that a lot of people don't really seem to have vision built up, which is weird because vision is amazing. So this is our boy, our boy and pal vision. He is great, of course, with his ability blocks, his offense down, his bleeds, his clearing of all buffs, his dodges. He's just an all around, just like, hey, I'm really good. Put me in any team you want sort of thing. That's what he's good for. He can go in any team. Obviously, he works great with power armor, uh, Minerva Guardians, other tech stuff, but really, 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 really good just in general. He can go anywhere. That's what you can see just from naming. I just named it like three different teams that he can go on. And then you can also just fit literally on anything else. He can fit on arena teams like he's on my arena team and just he's there that's what he does so he is just he can fit anywhere so it's like okay like great we have captain america this is number 10 so it's actually the last one but captain america a lot of people don't agree with me on this but captain america can stand alone by himself he may be the best standalone tank in the game right because you have juggernaut juggernaut has to be used with magneto you got colossus colossus has to be used with phoenix who does captain america have to be used with Nobody. Captain America just goes in. He gets better if you use him with other people, but he works without anybody. So Captain America, just woo, his energy, his defense up. I mean, his dispelling, his blocking. He's just really, really good. And it's crazy because the kit's been the same since the beginning of the game. And he's just so good. If you guys aren't using him, if you're not got him built up at all, I mean, especially if you're an early game player, he's still so good. Like, don't feel bad about investing in him. I really like him. And I really just... I don't know, I just really enjoy him as a character. It's just fun and just good. Like, just one of those good characters. Now, does he really do anything in Arena anymore? No, not really, but you don't need him to. Uh, he was, like, the staple back in the day. Guys, that's the list. I'd love to know who you would change, uh, who you would replace, what spots you would move up and down. I'd love to hear about it. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think, though, so let me know. Make sure to... Uh, like, comment, and subscribe so you're not missing anything. It's a great uh, great time over here, and we're just getting greater. Uh, keep an eye out. I am going to soon be releasing a video on the new Digimon game, Digimon Re-Arise, that came out on iOS and Android this morning, or yesterday, or a few days ago, depending on when you're watching. It just came out, and I love Digimon. I have a Digimon tattoo right here. And... Um, yeah, we'll check it out. It could be a fun game that we could get into together, but uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Check out the video and uh, leave that a, leave a like on that one too, if you don't mind. It really helps me out. So thank you guys. Have a good day. You're great. You're wonderful. Go look in the mirror and just say, I'm great right now. It'll make your day better. Appreciate you guys. See you later. Goodbye. Adios, muchachos.